Disabilities can keep some folks from certain experiences, but not at one amusement park in Texas. It's been built so no matter who you are, you can have a good time. Ultra technology, ultra accessible technology is important because we're at a point in society where everybody has different abilities and, and we have to make sure that everybody in society has the same opportunity. And ultra accessible equipment, ultra accessible thinking, I think is, is the important part about this and uh, in, in moving forward so that literally everybody can participate. Ooh, Ooh nice, you got that? Way to go. Got the goal. One of the, uh, the employees at Microsoft has a differently abled child, comes here all the time, loves what we do, loves the interaction that they have as an entire family. So he brought it upon himself to work through Microsoft uh, to get it to the point where other people had heard. Uh, they had similar experiences uh, and, and were able to visit and, and took it to the next level. Of course, the only thing these kids are focused on is leveling up their games, and it means everything to them to use adaptive technology like foot pedals as a means of interacting. And, and the controller, the adaptive controller is huge uh, because not all of our guests have the dexterity to utilize their hands. Some of our guests don't have hands. Uh, so if they have a stub or a prosthetic or, you know, Microsoft has thought about that. How long have you been playing this game? Uh, not too long. I just got on it. The technology, because of its size and interactivity, helps the kids gain confidence in their dexterity and general abilities. What do you like about the driving game? Well, I can see the screen better and it, and it, and it helps me like, um, uh, just see it better. And because it suits them better, grown-ups are sometimes stymied by what the kids are doing. I couldn't tell you how to play that game. Some of the kids wanted me to play it. I crashed that car about 16 times. <laughs> where, where, where do you want to go on a road trip? Probably somewhere pretty far. And she's not good enough. And while they're playing, notice that sometimes the sound is lower. The sensory experience for some of the children is important because what sounds fine to you is too loud for their senses. Do you like it better with sound or without sound? Probably with all sound so it doesn't hurt my ears. Oh, okay, that makes sense. And you can probably concentrate more without sound, right? Yep. As a preview as to what's coming next here at Morgan's Wonderland, I'm in the weather station, which will be upgraded with even more ultra accessible technology. Now when you when you when you draw with your finger, what are you doing what are you doing there with your finger? Um um Okay. okay. You know, technology is important because we're on our phones, we're on our iPads, we're on our laptops. Uh, it, it, technology is mobile uh, and, and it keeps progressing. Ultra technology, ultra accessible technology is important because we're at a point in society where everybody has different abilities and, and we have to make sure that everybody in society has the same opportunity. Morgan's Wonderland is in its ninth season and has welcomed more than one million guests from every state and 73 countries. There are 25 wheelchair accessible things to do, like rides and playscapes. I look forward to all of the rest of the ideas that they have for Century Village so that we can upgrade that experience for our guests so we can continue to put smiles on everybody's face at visits.